Hello everyone, this is Leda Golami from Agrimet Soft Research Company and in today's video I'm going to talk about line as the function in Excel. So this function calculates the statistics related to regression line for you and you can use it with with additional statistics and without additional statistic I will show you how to use it. You can see I have x variable and y variable. We know we have some ways in order to calculate the regression equation in Excel. One of them is to go for data tab and then data analysis and then choosing regression. And then you will give it the input y range, x ranges and etc. And it will give, give you the output tables. The other way is to select your data then go for insert and select the chart then you can add trend line and then if you go for more options in here you can have display equation on chart this is also the regression formula for you uh, now in here we want to use line as the function. Let's see how can we work with it. So you can, okay, as I said before, you can use it. You can use line as the uh, with this constant and a statistics and without it so i first use it without constant and statistics i select two cells because it uh, prints the output in the array so i first uh, select two cells um beside in uh, each other then i go in formula bar click equal mark then i go for line st I double click on that and I first select my known y's. Then I hit comma and known x's are now selected. Then I do not want any constant. So I put another comma and in here I do not want to return additional uh, statistics. I close the parenthesis and in here as I want to print this function in an array i need to hit ctrl shift and enter you can see i have two numbers in here but what are them first one is the slope of regression line and the next one is the intercept you know that using only these two numbers i can simply write my regression um, equation so y equals uh, 2.99 times x plus 1.56 and you can see the exact same thing is shown in here okay so that's for the equation now as i said before i can do that for um, more statistics so what i will do is to um, select the intercept and then return additional regression um, statistics again control uh, shift enter now you can see 10 cells are printed out for me and i have uh, already written the um, the title of each number in here so you can see it okay let's start together the first one is um, the slope of the regression line as I said before the next one is the intercept so that if you, we do not have any excess uh, and and if X is zero we still have y uh, equal to 1.56 then in here we have slope standard error and intercept standard error so this actually mean that 
uh, how spread actually this slope standard error means how spread are the y variables from the mean and it represents the average distance that your observed variables or values um, deviate from the regression line and then this intercept uh, standard error can tell us that if we can use the intercept estimated here or can we set it to zero you can interpret them using the other tests and these numbers to come to this conclusion then we have the r squared it's the coefficient of determination it's 0.7 it's not that much bad and it can show us the accuracy of the estimation we have made and the accuracy of the estimation of the model and then in here we have a standard error for y estimates i think it's obvious and then in here we have f statistic and degree of freedom so degree of freedom is n minus 2 in here we have 10 observations minus 2 is 8 and then f statistic in here is used um, in combination with degree of freedom to get the f critical and then in comparison of f statistic and f critical you can come to conclusion that whether these estimations are significant or not are or, or are they meaningless in this thing? And then you have sum of the squares for regression and sum of the squares for residuals. So for residuals, this sum of the squares means that how much of dependent variables is not explained. And uh, this sum of the squares for residuals is the difference of model Y the estimated y and real y for for all data okay and then we have some of the scores for regression uh, the other name for this one is uh, explained sum of the scores it means how much of the variation in dependent variable your model explained so that's for sum of the scores uh, for regression and uh, that's how the line SD works in Excel in with uh, these uh, data. I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video and bye.